I am Harrison Ridlin, and I'm going to be retelling the Arthurian tale, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. So the tale starts in Camelot on Christmas Day, where the knights are having a feast. So there's hundreds of knights gathered along with their ladies, when a knight clad only in green, who is not of the round table, shows up. He issues a challenge, that anybody strike a blow on him, and in a year and a day, he shall repay it. Almost all the knights are too afraid to do anything, and they back up. Sir Gawain volunteers, goes forward, and says, I accept your challenge. He picks up an axe and chops the Green Knight's head clean off. The Green Knight then picks up his head, mounts his horse, and rides away, saying, Remember, find me in a year and a day. Do not fail to. So, for the until October... Not much changes in Camelot is they um, pretty much keep jousting and keep training. But in October, they, around Halloween, they have a huge feast to send Sir Gawain off on his quest. So he searches for a couple of months and is unable to find the Green Knight or know where he is. So he eventually stumbles upon a castle, a green castle. And he, he goes in. And the lord of the castle treats him so well. He treats him like nobility. He's able to stay there for a time. After a while, he says, I need to go find the green knight. And the lord says, no, he's close. Stay another three days. And Sir Gawain agrees. So then for um, the three days, the lord says, you know what? I want to go hunting. Why don't we make this interesting? You get whatever I get hunting, and I will get whatever you got here. Sir Gawain agrees. So for the first day, he stays back, and the nobleman's, the lord's wife, who is also, who is incredibly attractive, makes advances on Gawain. Gawain uh, brushes her aside, the noble knight that he is, but she plants one kiss on his cheek. When the lord gets home with, uh, from the hunting, Sir Gawain gives him what he got and plants a kiss on the lord's cheek. The second day, this process repeats as she makes advances, and Sir Gawain says no, and she plants two kisses on his cheek. When the, when the Lord gets home, Sir Gawain plants two kisses on his cheek. Now the third day, she makes advances, he stops him again, she plants three kisses on the cheek, and gives him an item, a brooch, which she says will stop any weapon. He goes. The Lord comes back, and Sir Gawain goes and gives him the three kisses on the cheek, but keeps the brooch, which will stop the weapons. So then the Lord says, oh, here you, this is where to go to find Sir Gawain, the Green Knight, and Sir Gawain heads out. So a couple hours later, Sir Gawain encounters the Green Knight, and the Green Knight raises his axe once, twice. And then a third time, he strikes and nicks the neck of Sir Gawain, not killing him, but hurting him. The, he says that the three blows, he takes off his helmet, revealing himself to be the Lord, and says that the three blows, the first two stopping, were for the kisses. And the third, the nicking, was because he didn't give the brooch. So the lesson that you should learn from this tale is that you need to, if you make an agreement, you need to follow it. If Sir Gawain got nicked because he failed to follow the agreement of giving the brooch, giving everything that he got to the Lord. Thank you.